Williams drives it over. Here's Smith setting it up for Hernandez. Huang with this set. Off the hands, Hernandez saves it. Illinois forced to free ball here. Williams now, and that will be a point for Maryland in the first set. Sydney Brandt picking up the kill right down the line. Really though, the Terps starting this off with aggressive serve causing Illinois to be out of system. To Williams again, off the hands of Hernandez. Gunter the libero, Schnitta blocked, played back. Here's Gunter again at the net, and that's an Illinois point. A lot of focus is going to be on the right side, left pin where Raina Terry is, and trying to stop the offense of Samantha Schnitta. You see here, a little tight at the net there. They're going to say that Sydney Bryant got her hands on the tape. Setting it up for Russ. Here's Mosher. Terry misses it. Maryland off to a strong start here, causing a little bit of disruption against the Fighting Illini with simple plays. You think the old adage, iron sharpens iron. Well, the Terrapins have certainly played against some tough opponents as of late. Four ranked opponents in their last five matches. Here's Mosher tapping it over, and she finds the hole. A good job by Mosier to recognize tight to the ball. Can she set it? Yes, she can, but she can do a nice tip over, leading to the point. Raina Terry at the service line. Drives it over. Here's Wong for Schnitta, and that's a Maryland point. One of the things about having a right side hitter that is so prominent at times is it really spreads the block out from antenna to antenna. So if you have a strong outside, a strong right side, it just creates openings for the hitters. Here's the first look we get at the Big Ten leader in service aces. She's got some velocity on that serve and nice play there by the Illini. Setting it up for Schnitta who sends it a little too deep. They're gonna say it's off the hands of, a, of an Illini defender. The Illini trying to get a block up on the back row attack, and you see just a slight touch coming off of the fighting Illini. Schnitta again, sent up by Martinez Mundo. Hernandez played by Schnitta. Bryant, and she finds the hardwood. So the interesting thing about Samantha Shinita when she serves, it's a jump serve, which the Fighting Illini are used to with Brooke Mosier and her jump serve, but it's coming off of a lefty, and lefties have a different spin on their jump serve and their hits. Play by Martinez Mundo. Here's Mosher, and that time it's Ashlyn Philpot who gets the kill. Ashlyn Philpott, the middle for the Fighting Illini has had a good start to her freshman season. Off of the slide, getting the point. Reagan Riley in now for Illinois. Transfer from South Dakota State. And that one hit by Ava Rohrbach, and she finds the hardwood. For Maryland, it's been the pin hitters, but Rohrbach able to go to the right side off of the slide attack. Slides are just really hard to defend. Jonna Spawn now at the service line. Here's Riley for Mosher, who gets an Illinois point. Well, Reagan Riley stepping in, allowing Brooke Mosher to get that right side swing, and now. Fighting the line now are going to have their own jump serve, but Maryland's going to have to try and serve receive. So Mosher drives it over, and that one just a little too strong. A lot of power behind that jump serve of Brooke Mosher's. We mentioned how good these two teams are at serving. When we talked to head coach Adam Hughes for the Terrapins, he said he, they don't really focus 
on what the other team can and can't do. They just focus more on what they can do, and they play to each server's strengths. And here's Laney Smith. Did she get hands? Yes, no. They're saying no. Wow, that looked like Maryland might have got a touch on that, but no call. But here's Mosher for Smith, trying to tap it over, played by Martinez Mundo. That one off the hands of Hernandez. Nice dig there from Rohrbach. Schnitta with the touch. And they're going to give it to Maryland. Maryland has just been able to cause some disruption for the fighting Illini. Whether it's been the tipping or the right side attack, they've just been able to find ways to get points. They've been everywhere, especially with the digs. Here's Rohrbach off the net. Mosher for Smith. Deflected high in the air. That was Dowler trying to get the tip and just rides the tape for an Illinois point. And one of the things about the Fighting Illini is they are a good blocking team. They put a lot of emphasis in the middle block. So that time, helping. Hernandez off the tape. Dowler trying to keep it in. Here's Schnitta. And that's a Maryland point off the hands of Raina Terry. Sometimes that back row attack, it's harder for the timing of the block. You're really paying attention to when to jump because the ball's coming from farther across the net. So you watch this attempt. Line almost being able to get a piece just too strong. Played by the libero. Smith finds the hardwood. She drove that one home for a point. There wasn't much line for Smith to hit, but she found the small inches that were there. Smith, one of the talented freshmen for this Illinois squad. You see two of them at the net right now. That's Ashlyn Philpott, number 16, Laney Smith, number 23, as Martinez Mundo now at the service line. She misses it. So far, the Illini have had two service errors compared to Maryland, zero. Maryland leaving leading the digs category five to two. Here's Smith blocked off of the hands of Anastasia Roos. Roos doing a really nice job laterally going all the way out to the right pin, being able to close. Sire again at the service line. Mosher for Philpot off the hands of Smith. Here's Terry. And that's just what Raina Terry does best. Raina Terry is one of the top outside hitters in the conference for the Big Ten. And there's nothing super special about her ability to get kills. She's just so strong, and she does not care if there's a double block. <laughs> She's going to get through it. <laughs> she was first team all Big Ten a season ago. Has almost 2,000, actually over now 2,000 kills in her career, and that one sails out. Raina Terry sitting at 1,910 kills in her career. She, is, she was third in attacks per set last season in the Big Ten. And she's just a really fun player to watch. Again, she's just so fluid out there on the left side, has that senior leadership. Played well there by Illinois. Here's Russ, and she drives it home. Well, before the game, we talked about Maryland would need quick starts, quick points, first kills, and they've done a nice job of just getting quick points with the disruption that they've caused with Illinois. You see they're switching things up at the net every now and again as well, not just going to Schnitta, and that was something that Coach Adam Hughes stressed, he said they're trying to get the middle blockers like Russ involved more as Terry drills it for a point. Well, Illinois can find success with Raina Terry on the outside to the left pin. She's a strong hitter, now hitting 1,000. Terry now the service line. That one played by Bryant, then to Schnitta. Bryant again. And off the hands of Martinez Mundo. Not sure if that one would have gone out or stayed in, but 
regardless, got the hands of Illinois' libero. Yeah, the spin on that was Sydney Brand's kill. It was likely going to stay in. Just a nice roll shot left court. See how the defense on the Illinois wasn't quite all the way out to that left line to block. The service error there from Samantha Schnitta. That's rare. Yeah, and for the fighting Illini, they're pretty happy to get out of that rotation <laughs> as the ace leader for the Terps. Riley drives it. Here's Bryant. Touch play. Sets it up for Hernandez. Here's Bryant again. Again, Illinois able to defend Bryant's attacks. There's a free ball for Maryland. And Maryland not able to get it over the tape. For fighting Illini, it was the defense that won the point, able to keep the ball alive. Kind of crazy spins on some of those tips coming from Maryland. Riley again at the service line. And Rohrbach misses. Maryland might have thought they got hands on that one, but that is an Illinois point. No challenge. Rohrbach again, a touch play. Here's Hernandez, recycled. Mosher now, and a nice block there by Sidney Bryant. Well, Lily Berry for the fighting Illini, doing a nice job on defense, but Maryland stepping up here as they take a three-point lead into the first time out of the match. We're going to step away as... We have a timeout on the floor. We'll be right back, folks. Maryland leads in the first set, 15 to 12. Back to Huff Hall here on Big Ten Plus as the Illinois Fighting Illini take on the Maryland Terrapins. Play set to resume here in Champaign. The Terrapins lead 15 to 12, and something we've been keeping an eye on is is Raina Terry lined up against Samantha Schnitta? And, and so far, Laura, you said you don't think so. I don't see it. It hasn't been a matchup yet, but that would be a good matchup for the fighting Illini as they uh, receive another Maryland ace. But it would be because Raina Terry is such a strong left side blocker going against Maryland's top right hand or right side hitter. So a little bit of game shift there on rotations. Here's Spawn, and after an ace, there's a service error. Look at the percentages, some of the stats going into after this timeout. The Illini siding out at 58.8, where Maryland right now is siding out a pretty high percentage at 75%. Brooke Mosher with the jump serve at the line. A lot of top spin on that one, joust at the net, and Illinois gets a point off the hands of Maryland. Hernandez gets the kill, but it's like the assist actually came from Brooke Mosier with that <laughs> tough top spin, creating the overpass. Take look at another the speed. look. Going off of the block, just too much to handle. And that time, Mosher's serve a little too strong. We mentioned how much velocity she can get on that jump serve, and so far. Avery Hernandez on that last point for Illinois. She's been playing outstanding today. It's almost as if we called it, Laura. Yeah. <laughs> She's picking up uh, one kill so far, but really doing a nice job guarding the net. There's Hernandez with the tap. And Schnitta's attack too low. The Illini calling that timeout, trying to get some momentum going for them as the Maryland has come out with quite the energy. Tight at the net, and that point goes to Maryland. Well, Sydney Dollar went up for the joust, and Bohm was ready just to set her advantage. Dowler at the line. 
And good play, Laura. I tried. <laughs> Don't think that was on, caught on camera. We have a timeout from Illinois, but Laura heads up play right here at the press table. We'll be been able to play the shots tight at the net really well. There's a service error by Maryland, and now Illinois only trails by three. Well, it's a good timeout for Illinois. Kind of regroup. Look at what's going on. Look at the statistics. Maryland, man, they're hitting 304 percentage. Illinois, 167. But the category that's actually sticking out is Maryland has two blocks and a strong blocking team normally for Illinois does not have a block. Recycled here. Here's Terry. Taps it over. Huang sets it up for Sire, and it's off the hands of Martinez Mundo. Sire is a common name if you follow Maryland. She was their hitter last year, picking up. She's a fifth-year senior, really strong outside. Here she is at the service line now. Number 44 in the red and black. Here's Mosher setting it up for Laney Smith, who drives it home. Laney Smith on the right side has had two kills now, or excuse me, Four kills, picking up her fourth, hitting 143, but it's been on that right side, being able to hit the line. So watch Maryland maybe make some adjustments and make Laney Smith hit cross court. Here's Lily Berry at the service line. Setting it up for Schnitta, the Terps are, and it's recycled free ball for Illinois. Mosher setting it up for Philpot. Again, Maryland able to get it over. Blocked. Here's Huang setting it up for Schnitta. Another block. My goodness, what a rally. What a rally, and the pace of that rally was so fast. And Mosier trying to go up and joust it. Come back to Illinois. L Lily Berry again at the service line. And it's sent off the hands of Bryant into the stands. Well, this is an important rotation for Illinois. They took the timeout, trying to get some momentum going, and they got it as Maryland now calling the timeout. Up in the front row. Anastasia Roos on the right side for Maryland. Here's Barry, drives it over again. Wong setting it up for Bryant. Here's Barry finding Terry. Barry to Terry for the connection. It's a good rhyme, Barry to Terry. And Barry did a nice job keeping Raina Terry actually inside set so the block did not adjust with Raina Terry, allowing that sharp cross court. Here's Barry's fourth straight serve at the line, tight at the net. And Maryland. Sending Illinois a free ball. Here's Terry again. Blocked and into the stands off the hands of Anastasia Russ. Fighting Illini really finding some momentum here. They were down three before going into the timeout. I think uh, Chris Thomas asking a question about whether or not that was a back row set by Maryland going into that rally. It was determined it was not. Barry again. Here's Russ. And Maryland ties this one up here in the first set, 21 to 21. Something to note about Russ, she is 6'5". That reach alone is, is pretty high. So anytime she's making contact with the ball, it's forcing the block to have to really reach. Mosher to Terry again, taps it over. Nice play by Gunter. Schnitta blocked. Terry and Philpot combined for the block. And you've mentioned Terry, one of the best left side blockers there is in the Big Ten. She shows it there. Yeah, and this was the matchup we were wondering was going to happen. So Terry Schnitta, look at Terry pressing back to the middle. Terry now driving it over. Tight at the net. Here's Philpot, and she gets the kill. 
Smart decision by Brooke Mosier going from one pin to the other. Phil Pot, everything was going to the left and switched it to the right. And look at the spacing and the block that Mosier created between Maryland. And now Maryland deciding to use their final timeout in this set. The Illini have completely flipped this game. We're going to step away as the Illini lead 23 to 21 here in the first set. Reina Terry at the service line for the Illini. Right now, these two teams even in the blocks category. Blocking is going to be key. Trying to defend the serve for Reina Terry. That played off the hands. Here's Phil Pot a joust at the net, and it lands on Illinois' side of the tape. And Eva Rohrbach right there to do the joust with Phil Pot. Super strong. It's who connect, connects secondly, and Phil Pot. Not quite able to joust that one out. Here's the best server in the Big Ten. And they're going to give that point to Maryland. That was an excellent serve. Really, that is one that you kind of chalk up and go, oh. Okay. Paul, one of the announcers, called the Big Ten uh, the volleyball version of the SEC in football. <laughs> it, it really is. The Big Ten, there is not one easy match that anybody is going to have. It is top tier volleyball. Here is Schnitta again, and a, another rare service error. That's, I believe, her second. Second service error and for the Illini. Happy to get out of that rotation after a timeout. So here we are. The Illini chance to win the set. Dollar setting it up for Rohrbach. And one of these teams is going to have to win by two. And that really was just a nice pass by Ellie Williams handling the tough serve and getting a perfect pass, allowing the setter from Maryland to be able to set whoever she wanted. Jonna Spahn at the service line right there, awaiting a delayed substitution. As play resumes here, 24-24, nearing the end of the first set here in Champaign. Here's Mosher, a back set for Terry. And Illinois getting their 25th point. Well, you look for that leadership on the court. Where can you find that for Illinois? And that's Raina Terry on the powerful back row attack. Just textbook volleyball right there from Illinois. Here's Mosher, the jump serve. Dollar setting it back for Rohrbach. Maryland not going away untested here as Rohrbach able to get past the Illinois block. Both teams tied on the blocking, setting up on that right side attack. Exciting volleyball here in a packed house. Here's Hernandez. Mosher finding Smith. Played by Rohrbach. Here's Sire in the front row. They recycle it back to Sire. Another block. One more time, taps it over. Here's Smith. 
Sire again off the hands of Illinois. Head coach Chris Thomas thought that one probably would have went a little too far. Yeah, Sire put a lot of heat on that, but it wasn't necessarily down heat looking like it was right on its way out, but Raina Terry got a piece of it. Maryland leads by one, 26-25. Mosher, Smith blocked. And that one misses out of bounds. A heads up play there from Laney Smith. Yeah, Laney Smith not necessarily swinging all out for the outside attempts, but being a smart play, using high hands off of the block, forcing the ball out. Hernandez setting it up for Sire, who misses. That will be an error, and Illinois now leads by one. Back and forth and back and forth we go, Laura. Yeah, and the side out percentage by both teams, 61%, 63 for Illinois. This is a tough, tough set. Setting up for Sire one more time. Nicely played by Martinez Mundo. Here's Terry, a little off speed action. Dowler setting it up for Schnitta. That one's long. <laughs> Illinois winning the first set here in Champaign. Well, hold. Hernandez with the first serve in the second set. Played by Gunter and shanked it. Well, this will be interesting to see the second set. How does Maryland respond? They were so close in that first set to taking out the Illini. How are they gonna respond in the second set? Bryant collects. Here's Wong, back to Bryant. Setting it up for Terry. Here's Wong again. Bryant off the hands of Illinois. Back set to Smith. Blocked, and that will be an Illinois point. So far, Illinois adding a lot of pressure to Maryland with the serve. Can they get a good pass? Up to Wong to be able to get the set. Nice serve there. Here's Schnitta. Uh, an Illinois block leading to a point this time. On this matchup, Schnitta and Terry is one to pay attention to. Two of the best right side, left side combinations. Fernandez again. Huang finding Schnitta, taps it over. Back set to Smith. Nicely played there by Martinez Mundo. Here's Terry. Just watch the defense of Illinois hitter coverage. So anytime the hitter's going up and how much defense is around that hitter to get around that block. And Illinois, several points just having good hitter coverage. R Russ trying to tap that over. It was a little tight at the net. Just couldn't get there in time. And now Illinois leads. Five to nothing here in this. Mentioned during the break that sometimes that first set can be so crucial to get momentum going. Yeah, and then how do you respond whether you win or lose that first set? Illini coming out strong with their serving, kind of tearing apart the defense here of Maryland. And that attack a little too strong. That is point six for Illinois. You could tell Russ with a strong attack at the net. See the reach that she has for the Terps. Here's Terry. Not a lot of line to work with, but it doesn't matter for Reina Terry. Well, for Reina Terry right now, Russ in the middle. So that cross court shot, Russ standing at 6-5. Reina Terry is going to have success going down the line. Hernandez for her eighth straight serve. Here's Huang trying to find Bryant and a nice block there by Laney Smith. The Illini lead by eight. Adam Hughes is going to take another time out, try and get his group going. They just need a good pass and be able to get past this Illini defense that has been pretty stellar to start this second set. Lots of, here's Hernandez at the service line. Williams to Huang, finds Bryant, and she drives that one home. 
Bryant with the spring of an arm. Get through that Illinois block. A lot of attention on the right side. Maryland's right side with Schnitta for that combination. When we talked to head coach Adam Hughes, he mentioned Sid Sidney Bryant is one of those players who's just stepped up this year for the Terps. Nice play there by Williams, finding Bryant again. And that block, right now, Illinois is cruising defensively. Ari Bohm teaming up on the right side to be able to do that was all Carrie Bohm. Watch this block. Lily was there, but it was definitely Bohm. Off the net, here's Wong finding Schnitta. Another block, that one with Phil Pot and Terry combining. When this match started, we talked about how good the fighting Illini can be along the net with their blocking. They're very patient, watching where the play is going, but a lot of that is helped by the serving of the Illini, making it more predictable for Maryland. Time Martinez Mundo's serve just a little too low. She stepped into that libero role for Illinois, the transfer from Eastern Illinois. Last season, she was top five in the nation in digs and uh, in the digs per set at Eastern. Really, really strong player for Illinois thus far as Maryland gets their third point of the second set. Schnitta jump serving again here with this left arm jump, going to the left back court, obviously aiming for Raina Terry. And that time, the serve a little too strong. That's Schnitta's third service error of the day. And it's easy to point out errors, but you also have to look at the ace percentage with those errors. Are you still taking that risk, and do you get rewarded for taking the risk? Lily Berry with this serve, a joust at the net. They're going to give that to Maryland. I think there was a question here. Raina Terry was called in the net. She's kind of wondering how she was in the net. Little so confusion. Chris Thomas is asking for some clarification. He's going <laughs> to challenge. And they will give it to Illinois. And that is what we believed. We thought Fowler was in the net going up for that tight set and uh, Raina Terry quick to acknowledge she was not in the net and Chris Thomas winning the challenge. So both teams, no, that's not correct. Maryland lost one of the challenges, so they only have one left. Chris Thomas has both challenges available. So here's Barry at the service line, played by Gunter. Here's Bryant. Off the tape, trying to pancake it. It looked like it stayed alive, but nobody home for Illinois. And really smart decision by Sidney Bryant. Just doing a nice roll shot in the middle of that Illini defense. Look at it, just perfectly in between all three of the defenders for the back row. So here's Jonna Spawn now serving for the Terps. Terry plays that tight at the net. Martinez Mundo, another tight ball. She plays it up. Illinois has to free ball. Here's Dowler setting it up for Sire. Martinez Mundo all over the place. Smartly tapped over there by Terry. A back set now blocked by Philpot in the middle. A tap over by Rohrbach, and they're going to say that one was just out of bounds. And Rohrbach really being aggressive with that tip. It's just placed right outside of Waianae territory. And Terry serves it into the net. Maryland now with their fifth point in the second set. They trail by eight. Currently have Schnitta in the back row. Sire currently the left side hitter with Russ in the center. Here's Dowler playing it for Sire. Bump set by Terry. Here's Hernandez. 
Dollar again finding Sire, and that one sails out of bounds. A good rally for Maryland, just keeping the ball together, quick transitions, well, and Sire to get the kill. And they're going to call that one in for Maryland now. Here's Rohrbach behind the service line, setting it up for Philpott, who sends it home. Philpott did a really nice job disguising where she was going. Was she going in front of Brooke Mosier or behind? And take a look at this quick movement right in between the block of the Terps. Riley drives it over, finding Russ off the hands of Bohm. Back set now to Mosher, and that one had some power on it. And this is the rotation where Reagan Riley comes in, and Brooke Mosher is now a hitter. So normally Brooke Mosher is the setter, but this allows Brooke Mosher to be able to get the swing. Mosher, one of the better setters in the Big Ten. And that one, a nice dig by the Illini. A joust at the net, nice block by Dowler. Another free ball for Maryland. Setting to Sire. Finding Hernandez. And nobody home for Maryland. The Illinois block has been pretty forceful in the second set. And Bohm taking it upon herself to guard the net. Nice pushover for the point. Sire blocked again, Illinois everywhere defensively. And that one sent off the hands of Raina Terry into the crowd. Maryland will be back at the service line. It'll be Sydney Dowler. Well, Samantha Shinetta, she is actually hitting negative. You just don't notice it because she has such a presence on the court. And that time the bump by Terry, just a little too strong. Nobody able to corral it in orange and blue. And Sydney Dollar, one of the two setters that's for this Maryland team running a 6-2, allowing there to be three hitters up at the net at all times for Maryland. And another shank by Illinois. Maryland all of a sudden only trailing by seven. Illinois is going to take a timeout after some tough serves by Maryland. So maybe a momentum swing here at Huff Hall. Stay tuned. You don't want to miss it. This is exciting volleyball here, offensive matchup thus far. Yeah, and all that starts with this blocking. Illinois with six blocks compared to Maryland's three, and they're just creating this presence. Their blocks are sometimes straight down, sometimes that backcourt hard to defend. And Illinois causing Maryland to have to think about where they're going to hit because of that presence along the net. So it'll be Dowler behind the service line now. Hernandez sends it into the net and another unfortunate misplay for the Illini, not what you want to see after coming out of a timeout. Well, for Illinois, it's the passing, but how about Sydney Dollar? Two aces in a row, causing some disruption. Back set to Terry, and that one had some power on it. She gets a point for Illinois. Arena Terry is one of those players for the Fighting Illini, wherever she is, and if they're in a position they need a side out, Arena Terry is the one the ball's going to go to. Brooke Mosher now with that jump serve. And that one sent nearly into the bench. Sire bounces it over. Setting it up for Hernandez, and she finds the hole. Well, look at what the serve did from Brooke Mosier for the, for the Illini. Maryland having to send a free ball off of the pass, and then it creates three options for the Illini. Good, good. 
And a nice ace there for Brooke Mosier. It's quiet in Huff Hall when Brooke Mosier goes to serve, waiting for that top spin. You can hear the power of that serve when she makes contact. She gets another chance at the service line now. You're right, you can hear it <laughs> echo throughout Huff Hall. So often in college volleyball, we see the float serve. That is what causes a lot of challenges for passers. But topspin has it just as much, especially with the power and then the block to add defense. Kari Bohm been everywhere defensively. Here's Mosher. Gunter plays it. Here's Schnitta. Mosher for Smith. And that one's in there for a point. Elaney Smith off a of one foot. That right side pen has been really powerful for the Illini. Watch Laney Smith off a of one foot. She actually turns it back to the line, recognizing 6-5. Russ is on the middle. And that one will sail out. Mosher continues her hot streak at the line. And every time she has served, it seems like it just gets harder and harder with the power. Oh, Maryland making a switch here. Switching up, see who can pass the ball a little better. Off the net and spawn. Here's Sire and that one will be a Maryland point off the hands of Kari Bohm. And that was a good side out for Maryland. Mosher picking up a lot of offense with her serve. And Maryland able to get out of it. Here's Sam Sire. Fifth year player for Maryland. Forced to free ball the Illini are. Huang setting it up for Bryant. Blocked. Kept in by Sire. Here's Schnitta. Off the hands of Bohm. Finding Smith, Sire again. Here's Bryant, blocked again, and that will be a Maryland point. That was a really good swing by Bryant. The line I were all the way out to the antenna. The set was outside the antenna, so hitting high hands in this case was a really good decision. Heck of a rally by both teams, and here's Bohm. Little confusion from the Illini here. Did Coach Chris Thomas asking. Well, Christina Martinez Mundo went to dig the ball after hitter coverage from the middle, boom, but they believe she crossed too far over the center line. Here's Mosher again. Terry from the back row. Huang setting it up for Bryant. Bryant had to hesitate there a little bit, but it did not matter. Bryant a little bit on a hitting streak here as Maryland picks up a few more points. Bryant is Maryland's hitting leader right now with seven kills. Shanita is five. Sire, four. Nice low serve there, a joust at the net. Russ able to tap that and find the hole. Looking at the hitting percentage, this current set, the Illini are hitting over 400. In the Terry sending it into the Illinois bench. Martinez Mundo forced to free ball. Here's Huang setting it up for Sire, a back row drive, and a little too strong. It's definitely an aggressive attempt out the back row. Illinois excited to rotate, bringing Raina Terry now up to the front row for their offense. So we have the matchup again. Schnitta on the right side, Terry on the left. Played it by Gunter. Williams to Bryant. Saved by Schnitta. Here's Huang. And that is a nice block there by Kari Bohm. Kari Bohm adding to the eighth Illini block compared to Maryland's third block that they've had. And look at how well she reaches, goes all the way to close shoulder to shoulder. Service error there from Avery Hernandez. Bringing a little 
life to Maryland to try and get some more points. Set point for Illinois. Here's Gunter with this serve and an ace for Lily Gunter. Well, we talked about at the beginning, Maryland leading the Big Ten in aces per set. So far, Maryland with eight aces. Terry with some power. She finishes the second set. This line. Big Ten leader in service aces, hits the tape. Mosher sets it up for Terry with a nice touch. She finds the hole. That is the first time that we've seen Terry tip the ball over the Maryland block, and she established that by her hard hitting in the first two sets. Goes up like she's going to hit it. Just really nice hidden tip. Schnitta setting it up for Bryant. Bryant tried to roll it over, just couldn't quite get it high enough. Well, and this is tough because Maryland started that second set very similar to these first two points. Martinez Mundo drives it over. Gunter going way back for it, tight at the net. Bryant tips it over, and Hernandez unable to dig it out of the ground. Bryant subbing out. Jonna Spawn, one of Maryland's go-tos at the service line. And another ace for Maryland. We mentioned they had eight through the first two sets and through the first four points here in the third set, they already have another. Yeah, so they're definitely increasing their average as aces in this match. Mosher to Smith and a nice block there from the Turks. That volleyball almost gave me a haircut, Laura. <laughs> so you said, a little delay there. We're trying to defend <laughs> ourselves. Eva Rohrbach with the block. Dollar to Rohrbach, and there's Rohrbach again. Well, Maryland getting going a little quicker this set. Now hitting 300 compared to the second set where they were at zero. Nice slide down the line. Not quite down the line, but a middle of the court to cause, cause the point. Set by the libero, Terry with a nice kill. So that set was pretty tight to the net. And Raina Terry just shows off her experience being able to cut that ball into the cross court and get past the Maryland block. And she's got a tough task right now with Ross in the front row, standing 6-5, taking away that, that area of that cross court with her height. Dowler setting it up for Russ, taps it over. Martinez Mundo setting it up for Hernandez now. Here's Sire. Mosher finds Terry for the tap. An incredible dive by Jonna Spahn. Mosher again. Here's Hernandez. And nobody able to corral it for the Terps. Off the hands of Samantha Schnitta. The Illini get their fourth point. And the line eye just being patient, waiting for the right set to be able to swing at Hernandez using the block. The line eye lead five to three. Terry drives it. Sire off the hands of Raina Terry in the back row. Nicely played up to Hernandez. What a rally! A rally in defense being key as Terry doing a little tomahawk. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite tomahawk, but at least up in the back row. Terry again from the line. A service error for the fifth year veteran for the Illini. When we talked to Maryland's head coach, Adam Hughes, 
asked him about this Illinois offense, and he said, why can't Raina Terry just graduate already? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure there's a lot of coaches in the Big Ten that feel that way. <laughs> Mosher with the surprise play. Yeah, Mosher picking and choosing when to do the setter dump. If a setter does tries it all the time, it becomes ineffective. But Mosher recognizing that her blocker did not go up with her and creates the dump. We've Sometimes. Oh, I was going to say, sometimes that happens when setters are front row. Blockers just kind of lose track whether or not the setter's front row. We've seen Illinois be able to dedicate to selling uh, another action and then tip it over now in the past two points with Terry and with Mosher. And Russ drives it home for the Terps. And that's a quick point by Maryland. We kind of talked about beforehand of Maryland was going to need quick points, being able to get first ball kill and make quick points, not rally with Illinois. Illinois will win that rally. Riley. Mosher now. Here's Wong for Russ. Terry, tight at the net. It's a joust. Three ball for Maryland. Incredible play for Terry. Russ again, blocked by Bohm. Hernandez blocked again. Set up for Hernandez. Here's Bryant. What a rally. So much of that play was defense in the back end of the court and the play ending where Illinois has led all afternoon and that's the front of the court with the block. Just an incredible rally here in the third set. The Illini worked hard for that eighth point. Well, and Kari Baum has been part of five of the nine blocks that have been listed. She's been incredible in that middle front row. Terry now, and she finds the hardwood. The Illini now lead nine to five. I mentioned Baum just so. What percentage is right now? The Illini are sitting at 83%, so every time the Illini have, or Maryland has served to Illinois. They have been able to get the ball back 83% of the time, not allowing Maryland to score multiple points in a row. Coming out of the timeout, off the tape. Wong setting it up for Schnitta, blocked again by Bohm. Again. Terps recycle, there's Bryant. Tight at the net, there's Bohm. Gunter now playing it up to Schnitta. That's sent into the crowd off the hands of Brooke Mosher, but we've mentioned it time and time again, Kari Bohm making her presence felt at the net. Yeah, and she is making Maryland work so hard for a point. So we see Schnitta on the right side being able to get the kill. Here's Gunter at the service line. Off the hands of Avery Hernandez, an ace for Lily Gunter. Gunter has been so impressive from the back line in her serving, picking up her third ace of the seven, or excuse me, 10 service aces that Maryland's picked up. They are the best serving team in the Big Ten, and Williams unable to corral that off the kill from Illinois. Mamie Smith picking up that outside position. Now she's going to go to the right side. Raina Terry's on the left side. Bohm in the front row. Williams finding Bryant again. Mosher to Smith. And a nice block there from Sidney Bryant. And Sidney Bryant has been all over the court for Maryland as far as the front row defending being able to pick up some kills when they need it, and this time she was one-on-one -on -one being able to get that block. Coach Hughes for Maryland said she is one of the players who stepped up big time this year, and Schnitta hasn't been playing her best today, and Bryant stepped up big time as the Illini get another point. That was a bang of a ball that Tana Arena Terry was able to swing at. All that due to the perfect pass that Illinois had to allow Brooke Mosier to set. 
Illinois' libero. Christina Martinez Mundo. Williams plays it up to Bryant, taps it over. And that time, Smith able to block it. That was a really good combination for Illinois. Smith getting the touch. Philip Philpot being able to end the right, which wasn't quite all the way over, and Philpot took care of business. Schnitter receives. Dollar sends it up to Bryant. It's off the tape. And Illinois unable to get a hand on it. That is an, another kill for Sydney Bryant, who's been outstanding. Well, Bryant now is leaving the front row. She's been subbed out. So this is a lot of pressure here on Maryland, how they're going to adjust. Bryant picking up the last three points for Maryland. A huge hit there from Philpott, a joust. Philpott gets a hand on it again. Here's Sire. That one stays in for another Maryland point. And the question of who is going to step up for Maryland, Sire coming in, picking up that kill. The Terps, piece by piece, chipping away at Illinois' lead. Tight at the net, an incredible block there. And they're going to say Illinois was in the net. Well, in that case, Brooke Mosier was back row, and she went up to block it. It was an overpass, and try and set it wasn't going to work, and so it's a, block, a back row block. A series of unfortunate events here for Illinois, and the game is now tied 12-12 to -12 here in the third set. Now, Marilyn, you mentioned it. Just being able to chip away a little bit at the service line for Maryland. 12 12 here in the third set. Here's Mosher to Philpot. She drives it home. And that's what Chris Thomas was looking for, calling that timeout, getting his Illinois team to fight inside out. Philpot picking up the point. Powerful drive there. From the freshman for Illinois, she has been so impressive thus far. Here's Lily Berry. Played by si Sire, a joust at the net. Sent over by Maryland. Philpott again. Sent over by the bump set. <laughs> and you know what? Schnitt will take it. Schnitt will take it. That was a dig and a kill at the same <laughs> time. Seen a little life here from Maryland. A little more relaxed in the front row as they brought this back to a tie. Rohrbach drives it over the tape. Mosher keeps it in. Mundo trying to send a free ball, and it's too short. Well, this serving piece of Maryland and keeping the Illini to really work at their serve receive. There's the serve receive again, or I, I guess lack thereof. Well, that is the 12th ace for Maryland. The only team in the Big Ten to average over two aces per set today. They're averaging over or averaging four. Back set to Philpot. That's been the go-to in the past couple rallies. Mosher to Terry and Illinois. We have said over and over again, Raina Terry just can get the job done on the outside, beating the block, using. She is so, so strong. Here she is at the line. Received by Sire. Here's Schnitta. And that time, Terry with the shank. It'll be a Maryland point. Really just seeing both teams battle it out. Maryland picking up the lead with two. Schnitta's right side attack. Philpott keeps it in. That'll be a free ball for Maryland. Sire sending it over, joust. Mosher. And wow, what a play by Martinez Mundo. Back set to Schnitta, a block there from Philpott. Here's Sire again, a powerful hit. She finds the court for a point. 
all the disruption that Maryland has caused, whether it's been just the ace or they've been able to keep the ball in play and Sire going right in between the Illinois block. So Maryland leading 17 to 14. Here's Terry finding Hernandez and that block out of bounds. The Illini have their 15th point of the set. They trail by two. We've seen plenty of kills by Reina Terry, but Avery Hernandez picking up her fifth kill, hitting 294, helping Illinois keep that lead, not so much by Maryland, as they lead by two. Riley sends it. Huang to Russ. That's been their go-to when those two are in the game together and a nice block there from Anastasia Russ. Russ standing at 6'5", just has such a presence out there on the court. And Samantha Schnitta out there on the right as well. Look at just the press over along the net. Sam Sire at the line trying to float that one over and it stays in for an ace. And Sire has a jump float serve. And the problem with the float serve that makes it difficult to pass is it changes direction and it can also drop. As we see Barry trying to decide whether or not that ball was in. Float serve kind of like a knuckleball in baseball. Yeah. Kind of hard to tell where it's going. And a little confusion there on Maryland's end. That attempt coming from the back row with Raina Terry. So Huff Hall will about to hear Brooke Mosher's jump serve. And there's an ace for Brooke Mosher, right on cue. I don't think TV can really do justice to Brooke Mosier's serve and how fast it is coming over the net. And so many decisions in the serve receive are made before crossing the net. Where the passer is going to move, who's going to take the jump serve. So, yeah, Brooke Mosier has got a tough one. There's going to be a challenge here from the Terps. Head coach Adam Hughes thought that one might have had a chance at being out. And Coach Hughes is right there on that side of the court. He tends to stand back a little bit by the bench. So he might have seen it differently. Clearly, he thought he did. <laughs> There's the official trying to deliberate if the ball was in or out. That's Marty Prochko. Let's take another look here. And it's oh, close. It is close. One thing's for certain, Maryland was not attempting to try and receive that ball, but as you looked at slow down, man, the pink lines on the Illinois court are still there, so it kind of, you can tell pretty clearly where that pink line is. Looks like it might have touched it. It's close. We'll see what the official Marty Prochko has to say. Well, again, it's coming so fast. <laughs> that line judge having to make a decision. This will be the quickest challenge we've had. <laughs> and Marty says that ball was in. You wonder if that's one of those calls where it's so close on replay, you just kind of to trust your original call. Yeah, it has to be enough to overturn it. So here's Mosier again with the jump serve. And Huang ran out of room. That'll be another ace for Brooke Mosier. And the Illini haven't necessarily lacked in their own aces as they're picking up their sixth ace of the evening. So talk about two teams that know how to serve the ball, can cause disruption. It's Maryland and Illinois. We have a close one here in the third set after a challenge. Maryland will now call a timeout. We're going to take a short break. We'll be back in a minute when play resumes.
Jump serve still at the line for the orange and blue. They trail by one here in the third set, 19 to 18. Here's Bryant, played off the hands of Martinez Mundo. Terry trying to tap it over. Gunter setting things up for Schnitta, and that's a nice block for Avery Hernandez. Elena Terry forcing the setter for Maryland to have to take the ball, allowing the libero to make the second contact, really set up that play for the block of Illinois. Even at 19 in the third set, Illinois leads 2-0. And another ace. That is three aces in her serving rotation so far. I'll tell you what, being right up close to the serve, I mean, the TV doesn't do it justice, just nope. how fast that ball zips over the net. No. I remember one time I was asking Coach Thomas, I was like, how fast do you think that, that serve is? And he said, it meets the mark. <laughs> <laughs> that one's close to the net. Trying to tap it over was Russ, and that'll be another point for Illinois. So Illinois comes back in the third set. We have a lead change, and much of that is thanks to Brooke Mosier and her efforts at the service line. And I think I may have jinxed her there. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Well, we were talking in between the break. The one thing about the jump serve is it's just one more jump for your athlete, but the risk and reward of it can be so good. Gunter floats that one over, setting things up for Smith, who finds the hardwood. And we have an exciting third set here. Maryland trying to come back. Twenty-one, twenty-one, was Maryland's point. Here's Hernandez. Huang for Bryant, and Illinois blocks it for their twenty-second point. Twenty-two, twenty-one, the Illini lead. Laney Smith and Kari Bohm really being patient on the block, waiting to see where it's going to go and jumping together. Tipped over there by Rohrbach. Here's Smith again. Gathered by Huang. Here's Bryant. What an incredible play by Martinez Mundo. Bryant again. And they're going to give that point to Maryland. Maryland having to take several attempts to get the ball down. And they are just working so hard in this front row going left, right, middle, till they're crazy. But then when you look at Illinois and what they've been able to do in the blocks, they're leading with 11 blocks compared to Maryland's five. An incredible matchup we have here brewing in Champaign, Illinois. Huff Hall, the home of Illinois volleyball. And the best server in the Big Ten is at the line for the Terps. Here's Mosher to Terry, blocked. And that's a beautiful block there from Sydney Dowler. Sydney Dowler, not necessarily standing super tall at the net, only six foot against Raina Terry. Maryland trying to flip the switch of the story of these sets so far in Champaign. Nice dig there from Dowler at the net is Bryant and Illinois with a beautiful block. Beautiful block by Laney Smith. One thing right before the serve occurred for Maryland, next time if we get a lineup, I want you guys to watch as we see the block here by Illinois. All the Maryland players put their hands up and protect their head for <laughs> the serve potentially to hit. And a shank there 
from Williams, Martinez Mundo makes the score 24-23, and it is set point for the Illini. Bryant taps it over. Mundo setting things up for Terry. And just like that, the Illini